what's up welcome back to my channel today we are doing a hair tutorial on this hair i'm calling this my sleeky flaky hair because this is how to get your hair the straightest the sleekiest the shiniest Ever. I recently had the opportunity to get my hair styled by Glenn Coco when I was in Miami with John Frieda. I love Glenn. He's so amazing at hair, but he also taught me how to use these products and how to get my hair really straight. So I feel like I'm coming at you guys with a, not a, a lot of knowledge with the John Frieda Frizzies line and some tips and tricks from Glenn himself and I'm just really excited to share this with you guys because I am obsessed with how straight my hair is and all of these frizzies products kept my hair so silky straight frizz free through the Miami humidity and heat and it was so amazing and yeah I'm just showing you guys that it is possible to have sleek straight hair in the summertime when you use these frizzies products so please be sure to keep watching and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already come follow me on Instagram snapchat Twitter and just so you guys know yes this video is in partnership with John Frieda so thank you so much to John Frieda for working with me and uh, let's get into the tutorial because I can't wait to share these tips and tricks with you guys. So the first step is going to be to actually wash your hair and then while your hair is still wet from the shower, you're gonna spray in the Frizz Ease Leave-In Conditioner. I put this in all from about here down and really like saturated my hair with it and then used it prior to combing out my hair. It detangles and it makes your hair nice and soft and helps um, soften the frizz. But I don't like to put it up top because I just tend to leave that hair um, product free for the most part. So I let my hair air dry most of the way and then while it still has some moisture in it I go in with the three day straight flat iron spray and you're gonna spray this into the hair all the way from roots to ends and you do want to spray this pretty generously it's just gonna make sure that once you hit it with that flat iron it stays nice and sleek and the way i think of this step is basically like a makeup primer but for your hair and then you're going to make sure that you always brush it through because you want to get each hair coated it's really important that you guys brush the product through the hair that you really like take your time and make sure that every hair gets coated with the product itself just so that the hair is as straight and sleek as possible and honestly, I really like this stuff because it doesn't feel like you have any product in your hair. While it's wet, obviously you can like feel the product in your hair, but once it dries, you don't feel weighed down. The hair has like no slip. It doesn't feel like there's any film or residue on it. So that's super amazing. And honestly, if you don't have that much time, just spraying that in the hair really significantly cuts down on my frizz. And I just really like it because it doesn't feel like there's any product in my hair. Once we brush through the hair, we're going to get started on the heat styling. And this is going to be a two-parter. We're going to start off with a blowout and then finish things off with a flat iron. Now, with your blow dryer, I would recommend attaching a bill just so that you can kind of concentrate the airflow and make everything a little bit more sleek. And you're also going to need your hairbrush of choice to do this blowout. So I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair. I'm going to start off with the lower section of hair and then just clip up the top half. Starting off by bringing all of the hair hair forward and always brushing through and then you'll just take the blow dryer and you're gonna be pulling down with the hair and once you get to the end you kind of turn the brush so that you get a little bit of a curve at the end of the hair I'll show you and then if I feel like there's things to mention I can add them in as voiceover when I'm editing Then we will let down another section. Just always clipping up the other hair so that it doesn't get in the way. Let down another section. It usually takes me I'd say like four or five sections do all my hair and sometimes in between each section you're gonna want to brush
But down this last section, we're going to again brush through. Just make sure everything's nice and worked in. All right, same thing again. We are going to do the flat ironing and we're going to start off by taking some of the secret weapon cream just a little bit you don't need a lot and we're going to apply this rub it in between your palms and we're going to apply this from about mid length down so just gonna pull it and you want to make sure that you really bring it to the ends of the hair too just so that you keep those nice and hydrated so again, just a little bit of the product, work it in between your hands and really pull it through your hair. And then actually set this aside because we're gonna be using it again. Now we're sectioning off the hair to be flat ironed. And this again, it's really important that you guys work in small sections just so that you can ensure that the hair is as sleek as possible. So I'm gonna use a comb like Glenn did. And basically what we're gonna do is lead the way of the flat iron with a comb. So you're gonna go in with your comb and then the flat iron is gonna follow right after and that's gonna help prevent tangles and it also just makes it really easy. It's easier to show you guys than tell you. So you guys can see, I'm just starting off with that comb and the flat iron follows the comb. Look how straight that is. And you're just gonna work in probably about like one to two inch sections and just pull the hair slowly so that the flat iron has its time to do its thing. Basically we're working in sections that are maybe like one inch wide and the comb is really a huge game changer. So again, just start off with the comb, flat iron comes in right after and slowly pull down the hair. It's harder to show you guys my left side because I'm right handed so it's easier for the tutorial's sake to show you guys on the right side. All right, next we're on the last section of hair. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. This is obviously the most important part because this is the part that everyone sees. So really take your time, work in teeny tiny sections. So just start up top. Oh, I touched a plate. So just start up top and then pull down. That was horrible. What was I doing? So just start up top and then pull down. Now the last step is going to be to just go through the hair and double check that everything is as sleek as you want it. I just want to straighten it couple pieces right here. We're gonna go back in with the secret weapon cream and squeeze a small amount on the tips of our hands. Again, always working it in with your palm. This stuff is going to seal down any flyaways. And I'm not afraid to put this closer to my roots because it doesn't weigh my hair down. And it also has some avocado oil in it so it makes your hair look really shiny. And I'm just gonna like lightly run this through the top half of my hair. Now to finish the style and really seal everything in, we're gonna go in with that Frizz Ease Extra Strength Serum. I'm gonna take a small little pea-sized amount of this and I'm gonna run this from about here down. So just lightly working this into the hair and really pulling it through the ends. So this is the finished result. My hair is so straight. I have never been able to get my hair this straight. My hair is naturally straight, but extremely frizzy. And I feel like it genuinely just looks so good, so shiny, so sleek. I'm calling this my sleeky fleeky look because 
I'm obsessed. Thank you so much to John Frieda for working with me and thank you so much to Glenn for teaching me how to use the Frizzies products and really get the most out of them. And I hope you guys love this hair tutorial. I I don't know, like sometimes I wear my hair straight, but sometimes I don't because I hate how frizzy and like fuzzy the top of it would get. But with this, I just feel like it stays straight for so long and I really like my hair when I can actually get it this straight. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and that you learned some tips and that you recreate this look and that you send me photos because I love to see you guys recreating these looks and product links, information, everything that you want to know about this tutorial will be linked in the description box as well as my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.